Tiago Granato. Uh, I'm a dancer and choreographer. I live uh, between Brazil, France, and Germany. And uh, I'm Jefta van Winter. I live in Stockholm and Berlin. And we're now in Festival Panorama, uh, performing our performance This is Concrete uh, in Sergio Porto. So this uh, performance that we have made is called This is Concrete. It started more or less one year ago here at uh, Panorama Festival, where we had a, our first residency. And slowly, um, what we have today started to uh, start to become concrete and start to materialize. Uh, it's a work that. We do, uh, one of the main topics we're working on is the perception of time. Um, in the performance we try to both spend time in a different way than one usually does. Uh, we try to spend time between us, me and Tiago, and we try to also invite the audience to spend time looking at this spending time. Uh, we're slowing down a lot the perception, the sensation of time, and actually working with variations of slow is what we call it, uh, in which actually a kind of, let's say that the time becomes a material that you start to really uh, perceive as a, as a substance, as, a, as, a, as something concrete, as a performance. Um, this is, I think, one, one of the lines. I, in the uh, what appeared out of this being slow or spending time were also certain elements of uh, the con uh, certain contents that appeared where you actually spend time. So there was a, there was something about uh, sensuality and sexuality uh, that became a very important uh, content in the work. Uh, me and Tiago throughout the performance are in a situation of intimacy that we share and that actually becomes also our composition, our choreographic composition. Uh, it's something that an audience looks at, is invited to look at. Not, they're not part of it per se, but they are um, yeah, invited to look at it and be with it, spending time with it. Yeah, I think there is this also this uh, general idea about two bodies uh, passing through different situations and trying to expand the way of communicating between us, like using this immaterial stuff that happens in the communication as choreographic material. So you can see different levels, different layers, uh, also different meetings between uh, light music and movement as part of this uh, experimental communication that we developed during the piece. Uh, it's nice also to say that the music and the light is very important as uh, part of the choreography. It's not like a decoration or, or something that came after to, to give a kind of treatment, but it's, it's, we consider the light and the music as body also of the piece. Uh, who does the piece, the, the light is David Kiers. Yeah, no, the music David Kiers and the light. Jan Fedinger. Jan Fedinger. Yes. And I think uh, what, what I've heard uh, yesterday, for instance, at, uh, from the audience at Panorama is that um, I think what is very uh, specific about the work is that people experience a very, very intimate situation but are nevertheless magnetized to be in part of this, be with this and look at this. And it's an it's a, a unusual situation, I think, in which people uh, are finding themselves looking at people who are going through something together, which is intimate and close, mm -hmm. uh, but without being uh, maybe eccentric or without being 
ex necessarily extreme. Actually, the intimacy is what is is, is extreme, mm -hmm. not the expression. Of it. It's not the. Uh, it's not uh, vulgar, or it's not. Uh, mm -hmm. But the experience of this intimacy becomes extreme, and this is quite something for people to deal with. How do you relate to uh, this happening in front of you? Are you allowed to look at this? Are you? How do you position yourself in relation to this? Is it something you enjoy? Is it something you resist? Is it? Yeah, I think this is space between the two bodies that are on stage, and also the space between the bodies on stage and the body of the audience, kind of. Uh, shift, yeah. get closer and get far. So you can see our bodies uh, having a very close relationship, very intimate relationship by being close to each other in different situations. And for me what, interest, what is interesting about it that is that also the, the space in between the audience and, and us in terms of perception, in terms of representation, and uh, engagement shifts also. Yeah. To perform in Brazil for me is always amazing actually because of the reaction of the people, it's quite specific. Um, I have always a feeling of being communicating all the time because I have not only like a sound reactions or voice reactions of the people but I uh, I have also the echo after the performance very strongly and this is quite, uh, I mean, I think I do, I do, I do art for this kind of, to, to promote this kind of meetings before, during the performance and after the performance and I think I feel very, how do I say, reali realized, no, can I say that? Okay. Realization, you have this kind of, uh, yes. Or achieve. Yes, in Brazil. Yeah, I think the the it's a very concrete, uh, it's a very concrete and very direct reaction often, which is great uh, because, like Tiago says, you can actually feel it sometimes. Uh, so, sometimes you are a little bit left in the blue, otherwise of how it was received, and here it is pretty obvious. And this is very. This is very nice about playing here. And having a premiere here for us was also like, yes. very, it, it was a very clear uh, step.